But what's key in this training is that we take this intellectual understanding of the indivisible nature of all experience from the basic state of this opening intelligence and apply it directly in our everyday lived experience. This is absolutely key. Now when I began to do this with something like smoking, it was amazing. It was fascinating because first of all I began to have these insights into exactly what I had been telling myself. What these ideas were that I had adopted and then reinforced by telling myself again and again and again. So the education of the way that I'd reinforce these ideas of short moments of telling myself I'm a smoker, I like to smoke, I really enjoy everything about smoking, I wish I could give up smoking, I hate smoking, smoking's killing me. All of these ideas, all of these descriptions were also data shining forth from open intelligence. Now just that insight alone was very, very powerful because I began to see this basic mechanism and with something like smoking, the results of this mechanism in my life, believing that this data had power over me, it defined who I was and, and compelled my action. It was because I'd been telling myself these things for so long that I really believed they were true. I believed they had this independent nature. I believed they had this power over me. So first of all, the insight was really powerful, just to see that all of this was data. But then, to apply short moments directly in the process, all of the process of smoking. So the first thing that arises is the craving the thought, I really, I really want to have a cigarette now. Apply a short moment there. See what really is that craving. Does it have an independent nature? Allow it to be there. Allow it to be exactly as it is, just for a short moment. Now, in all of my years of telling myself that I was a smoker, I had never done that. Never, ever. And all of the 23 years that I was a really committed smoker, I'd never allowed the craving just to be as it was, even for a short moment. I'd always had to do something about it. And that doing had often been to actually have a cigarette, have a smoke. But it had also been the exact opposite, trying to push away that craving, trying to distract myself with something else, replacing that craving with another thought or it had been avoiding situations where I knew that craving would come up, avoiding being with people who I knew were smokers and avoiding that situation completely. And to allow myself to feel that craving from a place of complete openness without moving from that openness just for a short moment for me was incredible because it blew open exactly what that craving was. It was this dynamic energy and when I left it as it was, it was nothing but that dynamic energy. Then when you smoke, also apply a short moment. In the process of actually smoking, the relief, the temporary relief that you might feel for a few seconds, apply short moments there, see what that relief is. Is that data too? Is open intelligence also the basis of that description? And then once you finish smoking, once the revulsion and the guilt and the horror <laughs> arise, take a short moment there. Are all of these things also data shining forth from open intelligence? Check it, but really check it out. Having it as an idea or a concept will be of no benefit at all. Absolutely none. It has to be your direct instinctive recognition in the direct encounter with all of your data and with these habitual things, these things that we've been telling ourselves for maybe decades, this is where there's so much potency. Because to recognize that these two are this powerful display of dynamic beneficial energy is incredible because there's so much power there. To redefine ourselves as this completely wide open knowledge and benefit creator 
And to demonstrate that in each moment by allowing the data to be exactly as they are gives us the power to say no. To be really clear with ourselves about what will be of most benefit to all, including ourselves. So it gave me the power to say, no, I'm not going to smoke. I'm not interested in that anymore. I don't want to define myself in that way anymore. It's primitive. No interest in that anymore. Just seeing everything completely clearly and seeing that I have the power to say no. So powerful to take command of your life in that way. You know, so loving, so gentle, but completely uncontrived, not in some forced way, but in the direct encounter with everything about yourselves, exactly as you are, allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. 